YouTube and welcome to this wire mod beginners tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to use wire mods basically. I am not going through all these tools. There is a lot and even I don't know what all these tools does, but I do know some and I do know some good tricks um and for you guys to make some cool stuff. So um, if you haven't installed Wiremod yet, I do have a tutorial uh, on my um, channel, so you can go and go ahead and watch that. I will have a link in my description. Good. So, um, first of all, we're going to build a car, and the way this car is going to work is that when you're standing outside the car, it won't work, but when you're sitting in the car, it will work. Just like the Jeep and all the stuff. It's the same idea. Uh, so, we're going to do that. So. Yes, let's just get started. So, we want to make a prop very fast. Well, guys, I have to say, you need to have the basic knowledge of Gearsmod to be able to do this. But, of course, um, if you ha if you do not have the basic knowledge, go watch my Gearsmod Beginners tutorial. I'll show this basic stuff. But, first of all, let's go make some wheels. Yes, these are awesome. Let's just take the first one, either one. Wow. Okay, so now they're able to rotate. So we are go. You have to spawn a seat. Um, just spawn your favorite one. I like this one. Like that. Wow. And there we go. And then weld them together. Good. Now you want to do. You want you want to use um the tool called wire advanced podcon. Or it is <laughs> the advanced pod controller, as you see up here. So, what this does uh, is that it opens up a series of um, different options to link other stuff to it. Um, but that's on purpose that it is linked to the chair. So you're doing like this when you wire something together. It will only work when you sit in that chair. So you're going to right click on your pod controller and right click on the pod you want to link. You see over here it says... Uh, advanced pod linked. So that's good. Well, that means that it is functional. So, now we're going to use the wire thrusters. It is under wire physics. I'm going to go there. And we want to set the force multiplier to... Yes, that seems good. Place it in the middle there. And we need to make a turn. So let's just go. That might be a little rough. Um, like that. Um... Um, yes, I guess this the, all this stuff works for you, so you I don't want to explain all the options. But, let's go and wire this car together. It's very simple. You go in the bottom of the wire folder, and you go all the way to the button, and there's one called Wire Advanced. So, when you're looking at, at wire stuff, uh, there will be different options for you to choose um, to link stuff together. So, we now the, th the thrusters doesn't work, but we're going to make them work. So you want to grab your uh, wire tool, and then you want to click on the th thing you want to wire. And you'll see it will become blue, this A. So now we can, you can see we can't wire it to the wheels. But, oh yeah, there we see, on the advanced pod controller we have a s loads of different um, options to wire it to. So, you've got the a W, A, S, and D key, and the mouse 1, mouse 2, and all that stuff. And... Uh, I always want to say the X, Y, and C is made for um, if you want to make something that's controlled with the axis or the mouse um, that goes for the axis of the map, or the angles of the map, um, you want to use those. Uh, and the active means that it will activate as you sit when you sit in the seat. So we want to choose W because we want it to push. And for turning, I'm doing D. And A. Now you see when we go in, um, the pod controller turns green. So when we press W, it works. Oh, I see I have some um, effects on. But you see, now it only works when you are um, sitting in the seat. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, so that is one thing you can do. But... Let's keep on working with this car, I think. 
Uh, but first of all, let's remove the effects because they're really, really, really annoying. Um, there we go. And we're going for two. Th there we go. And this one just turned on there. So it probably didn't work, didn't it? It did. Okay. Now, sorry for that. Uh, so um, there is more stuff that you can do. For example, let's make a speedometer. So, if you haven't noticed, there is uh, a thing called speedometer, and this thing, of course, detects the speed of your of the moving object. But to get that displayed, we're gonna go under Wire Display and go to Screen. And here it says Text A and Text B, and we don't want any values. Uh, you can set a text for there, there can be two values, uh, but we're only going to use one value because we don't want two. Um, and there's some uh, other options, but we're not going to touch those. And weld and create flat surface. Something like oh, let's place it there. Doesn't matter where. And wire it. So now you see, we cannot wire the speedometer, but the screen can be wired to the speedometer. So you can choose. Uh, out, miles per hour or kilometers per hour. We're gonna choose kilometers per hour. So now, every time we're moving, you see, it works. Almost a hundred kilometers. So this is a very good tool also for making boats or any other wire or any other thing. It's very, it's pretty cool. I like it and planes and stuff like that. So that is one thing. So now you know how to wire stuff together. Um, and how to use the thrusters and the advanced pod control. That is the most. Um, I would say that it, that that is pretty much um, the ones you need. But I'm gonna be showing you guys some more cool stuff. So, if you want to make some sort of machine that can grab things, let's try to do that. We're gonna use the one called Grabber. And what this does is um, that it can grab onto not not players but props. And you can see there's only one option. Uh, no, there's two. Max range and disable gravity. You, yeah, you can set whatever you want. And disable gravity, I would recommend that because otherwise it would be very hard for this guy to pull um, heavy loads. But this time, we won't be using the advanced pod controller because then it would mean that when we're sitting in the seat, it will only work then. And that wouldn't make any sense because then we can't grab anything. So now, we want to use a button. A wire button, not a normal button. Let's just do set. And well, the thing is with the wire button that it can set a value of the object that is wired to the um, that's wired to it. So just set the value on to ninety 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 nine or ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and the value off to zero. And of course, toggle it. Of course. So let's gonna set that, and now wire them. So grab on out and strength on out. So now when we press that, you see it didn't create a beam. Sometimes it does. It didn't change anything. But now you know it's on when that one is turning red or blue. Or so. so let's try and grab this thing up. So now it's activated. Well, let's just deactivate it. So now you see it doesn't grab anything when the prop is within the beam. Well, let's just point it down. Oh, you probably have to turn it on while it's looking at it. You see, now it grabbed the prop, and of course, sometimes you might want to grab some objects that is not too heavy. Ah, this isn't wiring. Oh yeah, see, much better, much better. So you see, now it's fully functional, and you can definitely, oh my goodness, wow, oh my god. Well, <laughs> if you guys see what I mean. Uh, it's pretty useful for making um, a thing that can grab containers or something like that. But you guys see, if you want to do something with that, you can like sort of make in a container grabber. You want to use the advanced pod controller, set it to mouse one or something. But um, that's another cool thing. A third cool thing I want to show you guys is the forcer tool. So the forcer tool. Uh, that makes uh, it's the opposite of grabber, I would say. Uh, instead of grabbing objects, it pushes them away. So 
we're gonna do that. So show beam, apply reaction force, um, gets itself, I guess. So let's just place one in the middle there. See, created a beam. Good. We're gonna use the button again, just so it makes sense. And of course, again, just set it to 9,999,999 on the value on and toggle it. And set it um, to zero because you could also set the value to like 100 and then it wouldn't push that much. But I guess that's some for, for other stuff when you could use that. So, I'm going to wire the force out, office force out, and velocity out length um do not wire that one because otherwise the beam will be in critical line but let's try turn it on you see it created a beam let's try throwing a prop in there wow see already there it's incredibly powerful so that's kind of funny that you can make sort of the thing that pushes stuff away you can also get yourself there whoa wow look at that See, but that's some funny stuff you can do with um, the wire, uh, I think. Um, and you can also f throw other stuff into the forcer. Now that it's incredibly strong, so it will be like that. <laughs> you see, it's really, really, really <laughs> it's really strong. Um, or very, very strong. So, that's another cool thing. And you can also think about what, what can I use this for. Um, put in your um, sort of... Um, uh, place of what you're gonna just do and stuff like that. But well, uh, there's also some other stuff the target finder, the beacon sensor, and if you want to do some more advanced sort of a, like a uh, homing missile or mouse control turret, um, you would be using the gates and the beacon sensor, the target finder, and the GPS and the gyroscope sometimes. Um, but uh, that is way more advanced than for beginners and of course if you're going to do the max wire we're going to do the expression 2 and guys the expression 2 is so advanced um, I cannot remember how to do it but it's something about you have to um, write codes guys you have to write your own wire so you can you can also make a forcer with the you can make everything it's incredible you can make a following prop uh, you can make whatever you want you can make a pet for a prop and it's really, really, really cool. But um, I guess um, that I could show you in another episode how you use that if you want that. But guys, if you uh, want me to show you any one of these um, tools or you are unsure how to do something, uh, I would like you guys to comment it because I definitely will make a tutorial for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you guys. So um, if you have any questions, put a comment below and... Um, uh, probably we if you have any other questions you can join our steam group um, it's probably more um, active but um, go check that out and hope you guys will see me and I will see you in the next video thank you guys for watching <laughs>